Sixth race, start of the pick four. Second elimination for the William R. Houghton Memorial. Free for all pacers lined up. Here they come. Proposal and Color Me Best are leaving as a team from the outside. Carolina Rich getting whip urging. Goliath Bayama stepping out sharply from the rail around the first turn, but Brennan's got the pedal down with Armbro Proposal. Armbro Proposal sweeps to the front. Goliath Bayama settles in. Carolina Rich parked out looking to pace on. Day in the Life is third. Carolina Rich parked out fourth now, not gaining. Royal Flush Hanover moves up. Then it's Memphis Flash and Color Me Best dropped back. The opening quarter was a hot 26 and 1 as Brennan takes a good hold of Armbro Proposal. Here comes Goliath Bayama. And Sylvain Filion seizes control with Goliath Bayama down the back stretch. Armbro Proposal now wrestled back in the second spot. Day in the Life third to the outside goes Royal Flush Hanover. Campbell showing him racetrack and Memphis Flash picks up his cover now. Then comes Carolina Rich who dropped back and Color Me Best on the rail. Halfway home for Goliath Bayama. 55 a breather. It's Goliath Bayama, Royal Flush, and over the first over attack with Armbro Proposal in the pocket now. On to the far turn and heading towards three quarters in Memphis Flash, second over. A beauty of a trip there. A day in the life is locked in fifth now as they approach three quarters. Carolina Rich is third over and close up. Color Me Best is sixth on the rail. Goliath Bayama under the gun here. Royal Flush, Hanover taking it to him with Armbro Proposal in the pocket. A Memphis Flash on the outside and Day in the Life is fifth. 123 and one in the stretch drive now. Goliath Bayama digging in. Goliath Bayama. Royal Flush, Hanover won't go away. He's taking it to him. Goliath Bayama needs it all. On the inside, arm row proposal now skimming on through. Arm row proposal, open road for Brennan. And it will be arm row proposal. A perfect drive here. And a 150 victory for arm row proposal over Royal Flush Hanover and Goliath Miami. Dexter Nukes out of Armbro invite by legal notice, owned by Cliff Siegel of Brooklyn, New York. The trainer, Richard Banka, the winning driver, George Brennan. Armbro proposal records his fourth victory this season. The mile was 150 flat, a career best for Armbro proposal as he vaults over a half million dollars in lifetime earnings with the victory. Stephen and Aaron in the winner's circle with our presentation. Bob Hayden in the winner's circle with the winning connections. Just looking for a trip behind the one horse. Racing at the uh, Meadowlands, a little bit of home field advantage. Does that play into this at all? He just got a good trip, too, you know. I mean, he's been racing good all year long, you know, and give this horse a trip, you know, he's going to race with any of them, and uh, just real happy with him. In the stretch, you found room along the inside. What were you thinking at that point? You know, top of the lane, you know, I think we have to be third for the final next week, so I was happy with that, and the rail opened up, and, uh, you know, we just shot right up in there, you know, true professional. Okay, George Brennan. Cliff Siegel, a couple years ago, the first Horton, the winner, was Red Bowtie. You were a big part of that. Is Armbro Proposal the type of horse who can maybe get you back there next week? Well, I certainly hope so, but hopefully uh, Red Bowtie will also make the final, and Riverboat King made the final, so hopefully I'll have a trio that will make the final. How did you wind up with Armbro Proposal? How long you had him? I bought him at the uh, January sale at, at the Meadowlands just uh, earlier in the year, and he's uh, turned out to be more than a pleasant surprise. Is he Breeders' Crown material, too? Is he eligible? He's eligible to Breeders' Crown, the Houghton, the uh, U.S. Pacing Championship, the Canadian Bre Pacing Derby. You know, he'll get a shot. He's not the top flight, but uh, hopefully he'll make some money. Yes or no? Red bow tie make the final? I hope so. Okay, Cliff Siegel, let's keep our fingers crossed for him. Marble Proposal's already there, winning here at 150 flat.